Hey, Soul Fam. <clears throat> How are you? Thought I would do a reading. It's kind of quiet today. And uh, I guess I should give you your items to choose from. So we'll choose this little clay dragon. This is a sweet dragon. This is a wood dragon. I know it's a clay dragon, but it's a wood dragon as in I'm a wood dragon. So there's a wood dragon, a fire dragon, a metal dragon, air dragon, and this is a, a wood dragon. So it's from the earth. So that would be most, well, think about it, from the earth. Grounded, loves nature. It's a sweetheart, right? That one. This incredible, this is termal, a uh, tourmaline at the bottom. This beautiful pointed crystal. And this is, uh, oh, it's, this is from Sedona, the wood from Sedona. Beautiful manifest, manifesting tool. I'm gonna choose this one here. This is for my daughter. My daughter's name is Elise. Oh my, are you not gonna work? Hold on, this probably needs to be dusted. The song is for Elise. Those are the three items, okay? <clears throat> for those who chose the dragon, the wood dragon, what is your message? For those who chose the dragon, one more shuffle spirit. When I tell shuffle, spirit how many times to shuffle, they know which cards <clears throat> to, to mix up because this is a um, reverse deck. So for those who chose the wood dragon, puff the magic dragon. For those who chose the wood dragon. Okay, too many. Too many. Those that chose the wood dragon. I can't pull the cards. Spirit has to pull them. Okay, blossoming abundance. <laughs> I, like, I like this message. I like this message. This is a beautiful little hollow in a forest. How fun is that? You climb inside that little place. I've, I've got caves like that here in Sedona. Little special places that I've discovered. And inside there's an owl, which is the seer. There's a butterfly for transformation. It's a beautiful, magical little hollow. So I see the number three. So for, for me, um, number three is a powerful feminine number, but it's also the number of your ascended masters. So this is, I mean, look at all the gold around this energy, right? Garden, springtime, there's coins all dis dispersed amongst the land here and all amongst the moss. It's such a magical place. There's even money hanging from the trees above. See the gold above, all the little gold. The gold is in all of these different places. So it talks about an increase in wealth, possibly dramatically, a dramatic increase and unexpected. So be aware of the way we, we sow our seeds by the way we speak, by the, by the way we believe. So money's coming in and you're not expecting it. It's coming in and quite a bit of money coming in. I've got hiccups right now. Sorry. Um, so the universe is blessing us with this, with this message. So basically smell the flowers and get ready for some beautiful new growth to come in and be grateful. Be grateful ahead of time. Thank you for the, abun for the abundance that you're about to bring in. Sorry. Thank you for the abundance you're about to bring in. Thank you, wood dragon. That makes sense. Grounded from the wood from the, I, that means I'm going on a hike today. <laughs> Direct neutrality. For those who chose the beautiful obsidian or it's obsidian or tourmaline. It might be obsidian. I'm not quite sure, but it doesn't matter because it's, gra it's a protection protection and it even goes up inside this little crack right here this was gifted to me and it's uh i love the fact that it's all the natural elements it's got leather leather it's got copper wire wrapped around it copper is a conductor of energy and healing as well it's beautiful correct for neutrality for those who chose the the wand door to romance is opening spirit is about to open a door <laughs> okay Want to walk through? I do. I'm ready. I am so ready. So ready. I have been preparing and healing and growing and expanding, and I am ready to open my door to someone wonderful. So this is either 
you know, whether you're ready to open a door to romance as far as a new relationship or if you want more love within your relationship or whatever this, this energy is about your heart opening, it's expanding. It could also be that your love or your, the love for your experience, whatever it is, your, your career, your, your path is expanding. Again, the two numbers of three, three ascended masters could be that new love is arriving into your life. And you're being bought together. Spirit is doing this. This is a, the, the two threes coming together. That's a resonant connection. Um, it could be someone coming in from the past or it could be a new love coming in. But love is at the door. Love is at the door. It's already existing, Spirit says. The potential is already there for this energy. So welcome it in, right? Make sure you're projecting self-love. I love myself. I, I just posted something today. It was funny because I had a dream many years ago and my spiritual twin and I were skiing down a mountain. And I traverse back and forth because my thighs start to hurt skiing downhill for such a long time. And so he was cutting back and forth in front of me all the way. Cut, 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 cut. And we got to the bottom and he sprayed a big rooster tail all over of snow all over me. And he's like, ha, like he won, right? And I looked at him and I said, I would rather win with you than compete with you. I don't want to compete with you. I want to win. So that's the energy. That's the self-loving, self self-affirming. I want to work with you. I want to be your partner. I want to be your teammate. I don't want to compete with you. I don't like competition when it comes to love. That doesn't work. I don't like competition anyway because I don't have any. I don't compete with anyone. I generally compete with myself. So spirit gives us back what we are giving to ourselves. So if you are loving yourself, if you are um, respecting yourself, treating yourself in, in a loving way, then the energy of that is what you draw towards you. So Spirit told me a while back, you have not settled. And because of that, you are going to get exactly what you've asked for. Because I will not settle. Why would I settle for less than the best for myself, right? So are you ready to open that door? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? <laughs> Next message. For those who chose Fear Elise, and that's the little heart music box. For my daughter, her name is Elise. Do you know I picked her name from the song, and I didn't even know what the song was. I chose her name before. And uh, I went to my aunt's and she started to play that song. And I said, oh my gosh, I love that song. What's it called? And she said, for Elise. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Destined, right? It was meant to be. Is it that one spirit? No, too many fell. It's got to be just one spirit, please. Make it easy for me, please. <laughs> Five go flying. Come on. Let's be nice. Play nice. Play nice, my guides. Play nice, my spirit guides. They always play nice with me. I love them. They're amazing. They take care of me. They know what's best for me. They help me. We're a good team. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the heart box, <laughs> for God's sake. Come on, spirit, just one. Don't be sneaky. Actually, they can be sneaky if it's good. Just one. New love is coming and abundance is coming. I mean, how much better can this reading get? I'm ready for good. I'm ready for the best. Super excited. I thought about renting out my spare bedroom. I'm like, I don't want to bring anybody else in. Any, and, and I would want a male roommate. And I don't really want to bring a male roommate into this house unless it's the love of my life. <laughs> Women holding a heart. <laughs> and the number is 44. Oh, that's the angels all around you, guiding, protecting, and loving you. So this is about dealing with family. And it makes perfect sense since this is for my daughter. And I love my daughter. Right? So... She's got a butterfly in her hair, which is transformation. She's holding a ginormous heart and she loves jewelry. Look at it, look at on her on her arm. She's got a jewelry band. So it could be the reflection of your own self, right? Being in a peaceful state, receptive of love. It could be a message that family issues are going to resolve. I said, how much more wonderful could this reading be? And this is for my daughter, I will tell you. My daughter hasn't spoken to me in four years. And I was just talking about it. I want my daughter back in my life. So for myself, obviously this message is my family issues are going to resolve. Oh, it also can just be talking about you. You're, you're a person with love and, and you're, you're here to help people with issues, with love, family, and emotion. That's what I do. That's I'm a counselor. I'm a spiritual counselor. So um, this could be you, right? But for me, I, I know that that's what they're showing me. So thank you for resolving these issues with my children. I love that. Um, it also speaks that you're a very intuitive woman who has emotions that you bring love to everything that you do. You love what you do. 
You love everything about your life. Um, it could also say that there's a friend, a teacher, a guide, a, a female confidant who's here that will help you with your issues in regards to love or family or your emotions. This person has an even temper and they're caring and they resonate with you on a very deep level. But it also says that a new love interest or friend is coming your way. My best friend's coming from California pretty soon. So uh, this is, how much better could this reading be? It couldn't be better. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If I can help any of you with a private reading, this is, you know, just because I get my messages doesn't mean that your messages, oh my gosh, like how much better could it be? The sun. I'm just going to give us all this because Spirit just said, this is for us all. So the sun is basically the best meaning in the positive, in, in, in everything. The sun is the beginning. The sun is new. The sun is creativity. It talks about blessings. It talks about everything being poured out. It talks about nurturing. Look, the sun makes everything grow. Without the sun, we've got nothing. It's new beginnings, love, divine inspiration, personal growth. She's just swimming in it here. Great creativity, a culmination of a project that you maybe have been working on, a birth of a new project, maybe a birth even of a child, or the, a, the, a birth of a new you. This is, visualize this energy. Visualize Archangel Uriel, who is the Lion of God, shining the light down upon you, and showing you the direction to go. How much better can this reading get? Can we just stop where we're ahead? If I can help you with a private reading, my email address is Sherry, S-H-E-R-R-I, Columbus, C-O-L-U-M-B-U-S, at yahoo.com, all one sentence. Um, I would be honored to work with you. My, my, my uh, website is www.theangelswhisper.com. But um, I just disabled my website because I, I, I would prefer you just write to me. as I, mean, I don't even know. I mean, it, it might still be there. I don't know if I even get messages anymore with it. Um, I'm looking at this on my hair. This reminds me of... My girlfriend just made me these. Aren't they cute? It was so 80s, but I think they're coming back and I don't even care. Let's be trendsetter, shall we? I just, it made me think of a little old-fashioned girl. And the old-fashioned girl, I could see it. Way back in, I, like, in the past life, I can see that in my hair. You know, when my hair's going blonde again, I talked to you guys about this. I'm not making this all about me, but I'm just thinking about how they talked about your, this whole new you. I'm, I'm like re-embracing myself as I was. I'm coming back. Because when my husband and I divorced... I dyed my hair dark. I've, I'm a natural blonde. I've had blonde hair my whole life. Pure white streak here, pure white streak here, pure white streak here. And now they're turning silvery white. But uh, I'm, I'm embracing my whole new you. So maybe that's something that's happening to you as well. The rebirth of yourself, right? Oh, I'm so excited about this right now. Just say thank you to Spirit ahead of time. Thank you for all of these blessings. Thank you for the love of my life. I said I will be with the love of my life before this year ends. Thank you for bringing my daughter back. Thank you for the abundance that we're about to receive. We thank you, thank you, thank you so much for working with us as co-creators. And thank you for, for showing me how I can help others. And thank you for helping me understand that to play is to manifest and to play is to, is, is, is to grow. And to stay in a state of joy is what we need. We need more spiritual cheerleaders. Rah, rah. Love you.